okay, you know what? The heck with the capa the capacitors. Um, the problem with them apparently is they're not super capacitors and they don't hold a charge for very long. So they're out of here. New plan. Uh, my local surplus store, I was able to pick up these old cell phone lithium ion batteries. They're 3.7 volts a piece. I tied them together to make uh, about uh, seven and a half volts, which is plenty to drive my solenoid. Um, and then I found this great little seven and a half volt solar panel um, for ten bucks. And uh, right now I'm trying to run down, um, run down my battery. Uh, run down my battery so that I can see if the panel will charge it up. So. My son's remote control car has sacrificed itself for the project. So I'm still getting about 7.5 volts or 7.6 volts here even with this motor running and these LEDs on. So I'm going to just let it run for a while yeah, and then I'll see if the solar panel will charge it back up again. Well, it's proved surprisingly difficult to run these batteries down, uh, but I am down to 7.27 volts, so uh, that's good enough. I'm going to go stick it outside and let it charge up for the day and see where we're at when I come home. I'm going to leave it outside just in case it starts on fire or something. I don't think that's likely, but... Uh, again, here's my, uh, here's my solenoid latch, and this has plenty of power to, uh, to pull that back. Here with my uh, solar panel pointed roughly at the sun and no load on it I'm getting 8.85 volts. I have It came with this free gift, this diode, which Whoa. will prevent the power from going back into the solar panel once the voltage drops below the voltage in the battery. All right, so right now the battery, if I put it downstream of the diode, we're getting 7.69 volts. Upstream of the diode or downstream, whatever, on the uh, solar panel side of the diode, I'm getting 7.95 volts. Now, frankly, I don't know anything about charging lithium ion batteries. But here are some assumptions I've made. I assume that as long as the voltage coming from the solar panel is higher than the voltage in the battery, it's going to go into the battery. And once they are equal, hit equilibrium, it'll stop charging it. And it's uh, either that or they'll burst into flames. I don't know. I'm just going to let them sit out here in the sun and charge for a few days and see if they explode or not. If you have any thoughts on that, love to hear your comments. So 